So by now, we've all probably heard of Willie's Chocolate Experience, a scam that has failed so hard, people have decided to make a horror movie based on it. See, the scam promised a whimsical Willy Wonka experience for the grand price of around $40. It was advertised looking like this, and when people showed up, it turned out looking like this. They deceived people into showing up using advertisements made by AI. However, as the event unfolded, it became clear that the ads weren't the only thing that was AI generated. Generated. The script for the event featuring live actors was also clearly not made by a human. Out of wanting to avoid copyright infringement, the script turned out really odd, with Willy Wonka being referred to as Willy McDuff and the Oompa Loompas being called Wonky Doodles. And the AI, having never seen a Willy Wonka movie, decided to do the most horrific but funny thing ever and add a new terrifying entity to the mix, the unknown. Willie's enemy who lives in the walls. And during the live performance part, performance being a word used lightly, the unknown emerged from behind a mirror, ready to attack. And children cried. What is that? It's the unknown. The kids in general just had a really rough time. First there's the unknown, and then also, at Willy Wonka's chocolate experience, they didn't even get any chocolate. They each got a single jelly bean and like half a cup of lemonade. Now the event went so horribly that police got involved, and it started trending everywhere, with this photo of one of the unpaid Oompa Loompas looking very sad. The scam managed to be so bad that really, it started succeeding. It built a name for itself, a legacy. It has now amassed a fandom culture. While the children may have lived in terror of the unknown, TikTok has been making edits and cosplays. The cosplays probably involving more production cost than the event itself. Now because the unknown has been trending so heavily, people see opportunity for profit there. So a production company swooped in and decided to make a movie based on this character. Just yesterday, Caledonia Pictures announced that they wanted to make a horror movie set for a late 2024 release. Just so we're clear, given the fact that we are three months into the year, that does not give them many months to work with. So at this point, we can pretty much expect that the movie is probably gonna be AI generated as well. The movie supposedly follows a renowned illustrator and his wife who are haunted by the tragic death of their son, Charlie. Desperate to escape their grief, the couple leave the world behind for the remote Scottish Highlands where an unknowable evil awaits them. I mean, it's absolutely wild stuff. And apparently there might be a chance that the person who played the unknown at the event might actually be in the movie as well. She said, as a performer, I'm obviously very excited about any proposal to take the character I've developed onto the big screen. And I look forward to hearing from the producers soon. Now, given the fact that trends come and go on the internet, it's safe to say this probably isn't making it to the big screen, as I sincerely doubt this will even be relevant in late 2024. Let alone a month from now. Now, while the relevancy is declining, the information we keep finding out is actually getting worse. See, there's been the added controversy of allegations coming out regarding the actor for Wonka in the event. Someone spoke up about their prior relationship with him and provided photos to back up their statement. Supposedly, he was a 22-year-old drama teacher dating his 16-year-old student. <laughs> Initially, when this whole controversy was unfolding, people were supporting him greatly because he was sharing his story about how the event was run by AI and how the actors weren't getting paid, how the event just generally sucked and scammed everyone. The script was 15 pages of AI-generated gibberish. Unknown is an evil chocolate maker who lives in the walls. On the uh, experience to hand out a jelly bean, one jelly bean uh, per child. A chocolate! There was no chocolate to be had at this chocolate factory. But since this recent development, people haven't been supporting him and he's just left. In fact, he's silenced his comments on TikTok and his Reddit Ask Me Anything is also locked. And while he's gone silent, the organizer for the event has been active on the internet. Now they've issued an apology for the event that like everything else is very clearly AI generated. The event organizer called House of Illuminati, which is obviously a red flag in itself, posted the apology to their Facebook. Now there's a few weird things going on here that obviously make it AI. Firstly, it opens up with, I am reaching out to address the recent cancellation of the Willy's Chocolate Experience event. Most people wouldn't say 
I am reaching out when posting something to the public for lots of people to see. I am reaching out is something you normally open with in one-on-one -on -one communication, like an email or something, not a social media post. Also, specifying the name of the event in quotes and following it with the word event could be written by a human, but I feel like the average person would just say the recent cancellation of Willie's chocolate experience. And randomly halfway through the apology, there's mention of a wedding, which people have questioned because it makes no sense. This event has nothing to do with weddings. There was no wedding mentioned anywhere. And regarding refunds, they say something that broke my brain. All all 850 transactions will be continued to be refunded has been posted to ensure transparency. Huh? <laughs> what? Now, of course, there is no mention of properly paying workers or anything like that, and there's just a general lack of proper accountability. The apology ends with sincerely, followed by a blank space. Very sincere. Now, there are a lot of people on Facebook who are falling for this and believing it's a sincere apology, failing to recognize that it was made by AI. Though that's not really surprising because a lot of people fell for the event's AI advertising in the first place. Now, the wrongdoing is obviously from the House of Illuminati. They never should have ran this event. It's a monstrosity. And it sucks people paid money for this. But when you actually look at the website they used to promote this event, I think it shows there needs to be some sort of awareness or education out there to teach people how to spot AI better. Because if you have any previous exposure to AI, this is painfully obvious it's not a legitimate event. In this picture, there are horrifying bunny creatures with melting faces. The Imagination Lab is spelled Imagination, and the section Captivating Entertainment has to have come straight from the depths of hell. And Turing entertainment, catgagating, karchi tons, exarcer dre lollipops, a pasadice of <laughs> sweet teats. <laughs> it's actually astonishing how lazy this event was. They couldn't even just type out 12 words to go on this art to make this less obvious. As bad as it all was, an AI generated event somehow in the end created an actually compelling story to follow. See, we've laughed, we've loved, We've hated, and we've cried. No. However, its relevancy is definitely going to be short-lived, with the movie probably coming out far too late for anyone to actually care. And the fact that this thing went viral means there will probably be other copycat events trying to achieve the same level of success. So I'm going to take this opportunity to throw a pitch. So I propose to you Mega Mindies Mega Fun a whimsical mega mind event where you show up to a warehouse to see a bunch of people painted blue and maybe like a single lone fishbowl. But yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.